Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're already a subscribed member, welcome back, good to see you. Today's video, we're gonna talk about breakups. Most of the time when I do a discovery call from somebody who's been broken up, who's going through a breakup, this also counts as going through a divorce because really a divorce is nothing more than a breakup. It's just legal. I'm talking to men and I'm talking to women but most of the time women do the breaking up. So I talk to a lot more men. They're going through a breakup. Obviously they're pissed, they're hurt. They don't understand what's really going on. They don't understand what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. And so they find videos that I put out there or they find me on my website and they book a discovery call or the link down below if you are going through a breakup it's $19.99, it's 75 pages, it's a complete blueprint I've designed for you to understand a few things. Number one, what the breakup actually is, how to navigate through the breakup, and if you're looking to get them back, what you should and should not be doing. It's a complete guide, it's linked down below. Again, it's $19.99, if you're interested in that, you can pick that up, read it, 99.999% of your questions you can answer yourself just by reading the book. So I do some calls with these guys and kind of the main context of it is they don't understand the breakup and they try to argue with their girlfriend on the merits of the breakup. Basically what they're trying to do is win the breakup and they want answers and the answers that the women give typically aren't good enough and they feel like she can't break up with me because I don't pick up after myself. That's out of bounds. That That's not a cause for a breakup and they try to argue and they try to win the breakup. Like that's going to do anything. And guys, I've been doing this for a while, I've been broken up before. I've tried to negotiate with my exes. If you're in a space like this, don't feel bad. We all do this, but you do need to understand the why and you do need to understand how to navigate it out. And you can't try to win the breakup. You can't try to negotiate yourself back into her life or his life, females, if you're watching this. The best thing you can do when she asks for a breakup when she asked for space is nothing at all and give them the space. Don't talk to them. Basically, you just go silent. You basically go no contact on them. And I won't get too much into that because I wanna kinda of talk a little bit more in the video with this. And so you really just wanna to try to stop talking to them, stop trying to understand why they broke up with you. Try to stop arguing or win the breakup. They already sort of won when they asked for the breakup. And also remember guys, you have value. Yeah, maybe, maybe the breakup was something you did. Maybe you cheated on her. Maybe something happened which she was like, I'm fucking done with your ass. Okay, fair enough. Even then you still need to go no contact or radio silence. You shouldn't even now, it's even worse for you to actually argue with her if it's something you did. If it's just something that's been natural, progressing over time where just two people grow apart, maybe she's tried to bring up some deficiencies you've had in the past and you've ignored them or didn't recognize she was trying to tell you something and now she just got tired of your ass. Maybe, yeah, an ex came back into her life or fucking Bob in accounting, you know, wants to date her and she always thought Bob was cool with the little uh, pocket protector. Who the fuck knows? The point is it doesn't matter. She broke up with you. She's changed the rules of engagement. She's decided to change your relationship from lover to, eh, you know, they all say, let's just be friends. You can never be friends with an ex. But she decided to change the relationship status. So all you can do as a man to kind of keep Whatever dignity you have is don't beg, don't cry, don't try to argue with her, don't try to win the breakup, just walk away and say okay, and then exit. It's all you can do, that's the only negotiating power you have. 
is the ability to walk away from any situation that is no longer serving you and mean it. One of the biggest takeaways on most of these guys that talk to me is they wanna understand the why, but why does she break up? Does it really fucking matter? She broke up with you. Simple as that. It really doesn't no matter the why. The reason why the why matters to us so much is because our ego is bruised. Our ego wants to make a comparison on the why. And most of the time, guys, I'm gonna tell you this, she might not know the why, or if she does know the why, she might not tell you out of fear of hurting you even more. So she wants to exit this relationship and do it as easy as possible. Now, I'm sure you want to know the why, but what if the, the why is I've been cheating on you for three months? Does that help you? Fuck no. Maybe the reason the why the why is I've been talking to my ex for the last six months and I've decided I still love him. Does that help you? No. So the why is, comp it doesn't fucking matter. It happened, it happened for a reason and you need to understand that and you need to exit out the relationship. Emotions suck, especially for men because we're not good at processing our emotions. So when a traumatic event happens, we tend to over emote because we're just not used to what's going on. And women, you have to remember when they're going to break up with you, they've already been fucking planning this for weeks or months. They don't just wake up one day and like, fuck Greg, I'm done with this bastard. No, it's been a slow burn for a while. So when their emotions are completely checked out of relationship, they're fine to let you go. They're not any, they're no more, emotionally tied to you and there this is when you know that's over when the woman's fighting with you and arguing with you and is just trying to get your attention she's trying to get your attention she's still very much emotionally tied to you this is why i tell guys if she's still fighting with you this is a good thing you just have to now steer that negative energy into something positive if she's no longer fighting with you no longer arguing with you and she just breaks up with you She's done. For the most part, she's done. So don't worry about the why so much, especially if you want to get her back. Again, the, the ebook below will explain all of that. But don't worry about the why so much. Just worry about it happened. It happened for a reason, and I need to now accept it and move on as best I can. Also, I want you guys to understand most of the time, or some of the time, she might not even be able to tell you the why because it is such an emotional traumatic event for her too, that she might just be living in the emotion, but she can't audibly, she can't really tell you all the reasons why, nor does she really have to, okay? You're not owed anything in a relationship. A relationship is voluntarily. So you both come in in your free will. Nobody owes anything when a breakup happens. Closure is something that you need to understand that this is something you give yourself, not something somebody else gives you. So it's just this internal process of accepting and moving on. Now again, if you're freshly broken up, this doesn't mean you'll never get back to, together with her. This doesn't mean any of this. It just means I'm, this video is just for you to understand and compartmentalize this moment in time and how if you keep pushing and looking for answers, you might get the answers you don't really want. You might get information that you'd rather not have after knowing it. So don't so much worry about the why, don't try to negotiate your way back into her life. Exit the relationship, watch the next videos coming up on what no contact is. And guys, for $19.99, buy the effing book and it'll explain with you in detail what's actually going on and some of the things that you can do to increase your chances of getting her back. My name is Jared Schumacher. That's all I got on this. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, hit subscribe and that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. And we finally got monetized on YouTube. All that means is I'm allowed to the links down below, ask for donations. You know, this channel does not grow 
on likes and comments as much as people think. I do appreciate everybody, but buy me a cup of coffee. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and donating to this channel in a value in the amount that you feel the value you got for this video. With that, my name is Jared. This is Magnetic Man's Club. We'll talk soon.